Hello and welcome to Wild West Dynasty, a new game just launched on the 16th of February and my first thing to do is find my mother and she's over here. So let's go and make sure she's okay. Hello mum. Let's talk to her. Hi mum, can you hear me? Ah, there you are, alive. That's good. How do you feel? My head hurts and my elbows. I got shot too. Yes, but you're still standing. You better, you'll be better soon. I'll show you some plants and... What about you mum? You got shot. You're bleeding. Don't worry, half pint. It's not as bad as it looks. Only a little blood. It's just my legs that can't really move. That's bad. I will get help. No, we're too far away from hope and the night is closing in. You need to find shelter. Hancock's cave is not far away. I'm not leaving you behind. I can't come with you. My legs, I cannot walk right now. Then I will carry you, says Dakota, which is me. Okay, so I need to pick up my mum and apparently I press F to do it. So, um, now I need to find the cave and... I think it must be over here. So this is a new game about the Wild West and already we've been shot, <laughs> which is, you know, like not, not very good advertising for the Wild West because I don't think the Wild West was, I think the landscape was wild, but the people were probably, you know, all cooperating and accepting of each other a bit more than we're led to believe in, in Wild, West, Wild West films and things like that, you know. So find shelter. This is probably where we have to put my mum down so let's press F to put my mum down I wasn't quite well she's nearly on it oh, well let's talk to her anyway well done half pint I, yeah, I don't like the half point we should be safe here mum you're bleeding again how can I help what shall I do first take this the deed to our land and what is that surely my beloved half point is sort of Duguay's last latest invention a daguerreotype, but that was invented just recently. There's a tinker here who has, but no time for that. What matters are the people depicted here? Who are they? Us, let me show you. This is me, the little baby in my arms is you. Here we have your father standing next to Roger. Roger? <laughs> a friend, he tried to tried to fix things between us and your siblings, your brother and your sister, they're, they're on the right here. I have a brother and a sister. Mom, why haven't you told me? We became estranged, you could say. Your sister, well, she had a mind of her own, for better or worse. But your brother, I didn't want you to become like him. I will tell you everything. But first you need to gather some sticks and stones to make a fire. I see where this is going. This is very much like medieval dynasty, because we need to, yeah, gather stuff. So, no, my dear, uh, a fire to treat your injuries. No, my dear, you can't remember, but it gets terribly cold at night out here. So, so cold! Right, you can create a campfire from sticks and stones. Okay, it protects against the cold and allows you to prepare warm meals. To create a campfire, press I. To place it, press, it, press B. Okay, so we need to find, I think, sticks and stones. So let's go and have a look for them. Pick up is E. Sticks and stones allow you to create the first basic tools. Okay, press to create a tool, press I. I see, okay. All right, let's press E to pick things up then. Um stones i'm using a a joystick uh, uh, an xbox controller to to move the guy around move dakota around here and i have to use the computer for everything else this is just a pc game at the moment press i to make a campfire okay campfire okay all right, press B to place a campfire. Well, best, best do that near my mom. My mom. I was calling my mum because I'm British. Uh, so I need to place it down, pressing B. Um, campfire. And accept is E. Okay, it needs to be green. Okay. You need three sticks and five sticks and three stones. E is light. Okay, let's light. Three sticks and five stones, okay. What have I got? I don't even know what I've... Okay, let's let's find three sticks and five stones then. Ah, uh, now I can light it. I needed the right number of sticks and stones. Okay, light the campfire and then talk to your mother. I've talked to her quite a bit. Do I have to talk to her again? <laughs> well done, half pint. Well done. Now rest. You look exhausted. Sleep. Okay, I think you're right, I feel dizzy, but we'll get up early in the morning and take you to the doctor, I promise. Of course, half we will do that tomorrow. Don't worry about me, I'm here. I'm where I want to be. This is my cave, my little secret. 
Secret? Never, never mind. Sleep now. Don't be, af don't be afraid of anything. Not out here. No, this is home. I know. All will be well. If just... She never finished those words. They were her last. She died that night. In her most favorite place of all. I know she didn't want to. I know she fought. She would never have left you like this. In a foreign world. In such danger. Devastated after you tried so hard. But sometimes we have no choice. I always hated funerals. Wasn't the reason why I didn't attend this one. Only learned about it later. Uh, I should have been there. Been there for a child who lost a mom. A past. A future. Should have protected you. Should have. Too many should haves. Rest in peace, Phoebe. I promise. No more missed opportunities. I didn't see that coming. I thought she would live. I, won't, I don't know if that was my fault. If I did something that I could have saved her. I just didn't expect my mum to die. That's sad, actually. I think that's quite sad, but it's probably the kind of thing that happens. It's a brutal, it's hot here and it's brutal and, and I have to make a home and I'm not sure where to do it. So find the hermit farm. That's what I need to do next. I, I wonder if I have any help. Um, let's just see if there's any pointers to it. Yeah, 162 meters that way. Well, I can't climb over the, all that stuff. I think I'll have to go around. Okay, can I run? Okay, I think I have to get there through the cave. I can't see any way else to get there. I can't climb over all the mountains and stuff. I can search for stuff in the cave though while I'm here, I suppose. Uh, just have a look in this barrel. Okay, take all. All right, let's get going. All right, I won't stop. I won't film all the stuff of me picking stuff up. I'm just going to... I'll... I'm just going to skip to the bit where I'm nearly at the hermit farm. Or I might put this on a, on a bit of a fast forward. I'm so glad to find civilization here and this is a guy I need to speak to I think. I thought I was on my own. This is very pleasing to me to find somebody out here. And I have a lantern but I can't quite work out how to equip it either. But uh, I found the hermit farm and the guy I need to speak to I'm sure is this guy over here. So let's wander over there and see if he can patch me up. Hello, sir. Good, sir. Can you please help me? I'm desperate. No time for any, any of your business. Need to care, take care of my own. Oh, come on. That's not very American. Me and my brother got attacked by bandits. They killed her and left me to die. Sorry to hear that. If it's the truth, might be. See, that happens out here. Especially since the next fort is far away and the sheriff is a crook. None of my business. But sir, I'm injured. I'm dying. Please, this ain't about business. We're talking about life or death matter here. Sorry, I'm starting to develop an American accent. That You need to stop me. This is... Right, okay. You're too damn loud for a corpse, if you ask me, and too damn annoying on top. Can't you see I'm sewing here? Not exactly. The high art of agriculture has eluded me so far. But if my books were not mistaken, you would need seeds for that, wouldn't you? Yeah, of course. I ploughed last week. Removed the weeds. Now I'll sow these... Those... Damn! <laughs> what? I must have forgotten the seeds inside. You know what? Grab them off my table in the house, bring them here, and we'll talk. Okay, so now I've got to do something for this guy. Okay, find the seeds in the house. This house here? On my new quest. Alright, so here are the seeds. 
So this is a tutorial, isn't it? You know, this is a tutorial for the game, and now we need to go and give the C's to Ed. And how do what button do I press to do that? I don't know. Anyway, let's talk to Ed Hancock. Your seeds, they were right where you left them. What are they, by the way? Oats, what else? Prairie soil is perfect grass, so grains grow decently. Could do wheat for bread or barley for beer, but oats are a staple around here. Fetch me those hoe leaning over there. With a hoe, you can create a field. Okay. Okay, fine. Let's go and give it to Ed. Where is he? I wish he wouldn't walk away when I'm trying to talk to him. I'm trying to... I'm half dead here. Okay, so I may or may not have uh, cut out all that dialogue. If I have, I'll paraphrase it to say, Ed wants us to go and find some agaves. So we need to go and find some agaves. And I know agave from agave nectar, I think. It's like a sugary sort of syrup. And now what do agaves look like? Um... Let's see if we have a... No, we just have to find them. Oh, we found them. They're all the way over here. Like, I had to walk miles. Can't you see I'm injured? <laughs> so, these are the agaves anyway. And I should have followed where the pointer was going in the first place. So, collect ag agaves and i think i've probably done what i need to do so let's go back to see ed i hope i've got enough i'm not entirely sure yeah i think i've got three and i need one i think that's it okay let's go back and see the farmer I'll, i might be a while <laughs> i'll see you when i get back over there all right ed i've got your agaves not very kind of you to send me all the way over there when I'm clearly very injured. Oh, that's good. Don't worry if you've got too many. You can always sell them at the settlement further down the path to the northeast. Then let me show you how... This is going on a bit, isn't it? Then go inside, take some rest, and we'll talk in the morning. All right, thank you again. Ah, oh, find the bed. Yes, please. <laughs> Let's go inside. I might have cut out the dialogue. I've said this before, but I might have cut out the dialogue because some of it is a bit long-winded. Ah, oh, phew. Let's sleep. Wow. My health bar is... I'm completely restored. I, I, I hope I can run now. Let's go talk to Ed anyway. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. <laughs> Ed! 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 Good morning. You look much better today. Less dying, at least. <laughs> Sorry, that's a West Country accent. I feel great, actually. Thank you again. So what can I do for you? Tear down my barn. Tear down my barn? Excuse me, what? You heard me. Originally it was the stable. I don't have any livestock to speak of anyway. Sure, I'll have to build a shack to store my harvest, but the barn is beyond repair. Knock it down and rebuild. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean, uh, but I'm no carpenter. I ain't one either, and I built everything here. The farm, the fence, the outhouse, the barn. Built to last, eh? Don't mock me, Greenhorn. It's harder than you think, you'll see. But first of all, I have no tools. At least I can't find mine anymore, so you have to make your own. Do I look like a blacksmith? No, more like a bookworm, a meagre one. Unfed and dried out, doesn't matter. Let me tell you how it's done. Recipe unlocked wooden hammer. Okay. New quest tools of the trade. Now, how do I see my quests? In my journal. Yeah, here are my quests. Tools of the trade. So, tools of the trade. Okay, craft a hammer. I think that's what I need to do for tools of the trade. So, press I to craft a hammer. Tools and a wooden hammer. I've got all the stuff for it. Let's craft it. Right, okay. Hammer is a basic tool. You can repair buildings. Okay, find stick and stone to make them. Don't forget to equip it. You can do this by assigning it to the hot bar in your inventory. Okay. How do I do that then? Okay, here's my wooden hammer. Here's my inventory. So put it in there. 
and I've equipped it. Okay. Okay, well I can't seem to equip it, but now I need to craft an axe. So let's go to I and go to tools and an axe. Basic tool used to cut down trees. Remember to equip the axe. Don't forget to chop fallen leaves into wood logs. Okay. All right. Let's go back to this and go to equipment and equip my stone axe in here. So I've got a lantern, a hammer and a stone axe equipped. Okay. All right. Talk to the hermit farmer. Where is he? Show me what you got. Here are my tools. I'm especially proud of the hammer. <laughs> Looks a bit crude, just like old Grabtha's hammer, but it will suffice. Okay, grab your axe and take down the barn. Take down the barn. Okay. On it. Okay. <laughs> Quest complete. He walked straight through me. Did you see that? And there's like a whip crack sound at the same time. <laughs> All right. New thing. Take down the barn. Press tab to press tab to equip your axe. That's how you do it. Press tab. It's not on the controller. Okay. So the barn is this thing over here, I think. So Ed's barn. Okay. Okay. Of course, I need my axe to destroy the barn, which I had the hammer, which is very silly of me. But now. Yeah, I need to use the right bumper on the on the controller. So I've now completed the barn. So I'm using a controller, a keyboard and a mouse to play this game at the moment. So uh, let's see if I can put my, my axe away. I don't want to threaten Ed. Well, I'd quite like to threaten Ed actually, but I won't. All right, I can't quite find how to put my axe away, but I'll go and talk to Ed anyway. I hope he doesn't take offence. Your barn is history. I was able to salvage a few planks of wood that could still be of use. I was counting on that, but before we get down to this, it's time for your next lesson. Right, well, clearly a tutorial, which is drinking. <laughs> oh, great, okay. I think I quite like that. Hey, I'm not that green. I have plenty of beer with my friends in New York, some gin from the Traveller's Lodge, and even wine from... You couldn't afford the moonshine from Whiskey Annie right now. I can't... I, I ain't talking about the kind of drinking. I'm talking about water. Keeps you alive out here, you know. Okay. Oh, he says. Yeah, tell me, Sidney Brat, how do you feel now after a little bit of work? I see what you mean. Yes, I am thirsty. My tongue is dried out. Almost sticky. That's the first sign. Next you'll feel dizzy, then your eyes start betraying your mind, and a few hours later you're dead. This ain't New York City. The sun and dry air here can kill you quickly. The problem is water is hard to find around here, and clean is even rarer. So where can I get water? You're lucky. I have a well, and there's a second one near the settlement. Go inside and grab the old canteen on the table. It's yours, but you have to fill it yourself. I will, but wouldn't it be better to have pipes and a tap in every single house, providing fresh water to the residents? <laughs> and what's next? Flying carriages without horses. Now hurry up and first... First fill the canteen, then your belly, before you pass out on me. Okay. Find the empty canteen. Let's go and find the empty canteen. I hope I can pick it up with this axe in my hand. Okay, here it is. Leather canteen. Go to Ed's well, okay. Um, it said it was nine mi Oh, this one here, okay. Interact. Okay, I think I've done it. I just clicked on it and it, it filled it up. Um, press tab to drink from the canteen or interact with the well. Press tab. This is what happens when I press tab. I'm not sure this is quite right. Um, oh, I see. Press E and then drink. Okay. That's all I had to do. Press E and then and then drink on here okay i'm getting used to this you know it's kind of a learning process because it, do it doesn't work the same way as medieval dynasty the, um they've changed things around which is a bit like you know when you go into a supermarket and they change everything around and you don't know where anything is <laughs> it's a bit like that let's go and talk to ed he keeps walking away from me any better much better from now on i'll make sure to carry water with me what's next 
Don't you hate it when the rattlesnake snizzles up your leg or when the wind blows your paper away when you're taking a dump? <laughs> yeah, I do. Excuse me? Got you there, kiddo. Got you good. But seriously, I want you to fix up my outhouse. Better than cleaning it. I can guarantee you that. Do I need smelling salts wrapped in a towel around my nose to survive that? This sounds like the ne next opportunity to pass out or to boldly go where no one has gone before except you. Don't worry, you can do all the work from outside. Just use your hammer and the planks you got from the barn. I will try. Okay, find the outhouse. Uh, so it's nine meters in this direction. Is this it? This is the outhouse? Good grief. So use a hammer. Okay, use a hammer. Wooden hammer to fix it. Uh, so build. Sticks times four, stone times four. Okay. I think I've done it. That looks good, doesn't it? I'm pretty handy. Uh, talk to the hermit farmer. Okay. Uh, where's he gone now? <laughs> He's over here. Oh, thank you. Okay. Now, again, I might have just edited that out because there's a big, long conversation. We were talking about finding our own food and hunting it and... We need to be able to fend for ourselves, basically. So, what am I doing in here now? Grab the food. Okay. Pick up. And... Pick up. Okay. Talk to Ed. I've still got the hammer in my hand. I can't... I can't quite work out how to put it away. Now where's he gone? <laughs> Where is he? He's over here. There's a lot of talking in this first bit, but um, it's the tutorial, isn't it? So I'll, I'll go through this as well. What's next? I've been thinking. You, I've got a small task for you about your mum. You left her in my grandma's cave, and I know she would have. Want, I think she would have wanted that. So please go give her some flowers for me. Here, you know where. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's really nice. Thanks, Ed. That's very kind of you. Thank you. I'll do that. Now, don't get all sentimental on me. I have nothing else. Roam around for a bit. Visit taxation. Next settlement from here. Get to know folks. Come back later. All right. While I'm at the cave, I could take another look at our wagon and see if the bandits have missed anything. I have already done that. Good idea. Even if they took all your belongings, you might still get a few, good few blanks out of it. Take your tools with you. Don't forget the water. And if you, if you collect agaves, bring them to Karen in taxation. She'll pay halfway decent for them. Agaves, probably in the forest. Okay. I'm flying! <laughs> Receive flowers. Oh, that's nice. So I need to go and return to my mum's grave. Okay. Um, I'm going to do that because... That was really sad when that happened. I really wasn't expecting that to happen. Okay, so my mum's grave is... How far? Okay, so here we are. Back uh, at uh, my mum's uh, grave. So... Um... Okay, um, the only way I can find to put the flowers on my mum's grave is to kind of, oh, interact. Flowers, this is how you do it, sorry. So, okay, I put the flowers on there. Okay, so I need to exploit the re remains of the cart with the axe, but I think that oh, I'm going to end this episode here, um, because... Otherwise, it's just going to get too long. I need to do some editing and stuff. So you can see it's kind of not quite as refined, obviously, as Medieval Dynasty. Uh, the way the guy moves and everything. And, um, you know, and the way I can't quite find, work out how to do things. And it doesn't quite work with just a, just a controller at the moment. Um, so I can't, I'd like to see this guy's face, but I can't, I can't seem to do it. So... Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll be doing another one pretty soon where we'll we'll learn to survive and we may even be able to build our own house. So thanks very much for watching and bye for now.